Hey there, True 101 Story, Bound to Tell here. Um, thanks for the sub and for the friend invite. I very much appreciate them. I only just found out at your channel the other day when you made a, a video response to Cold of Dusty about not joining the military. Uh, or something along that nature. I don't remember the actual title of the video. Um, so I haven't seen too many of your videos. What I've seen so far, I really enjoy. So, uh, take that little compliment from little old me for what you will, I guess. Um, oh, by the way, for people who actually regularly watch my videos slightly. New sunglasses. Fucking awesome, right? Um, and so anyway, I noticed, or, uh, I've made a bit of a connection between, uh, your video, The Cannabis Conundrum, and Fixing the Police and Pot Laws, when you uploaded, uh, I believe, yesterday and then today. Um, I very much agree with you. When In The Cannabis Conundrum, you say that many of the people you know that uh, kind of regularly smoke pot or have continued to do so, these are the kinds of people who are trying to change the world for the better, and who are actually doing it, and who are doing more than just arguing for it, or something like that. They're, they're actually, you know, going out there and being active in something, or running like an organic store, or running an organic farm, even, something like that, where they're trying uh, to actually help in whatever small ways they can with uh, many of our massive problems. Um, and this is the case for me, too. Many of the people I know that smoke pot, both uh, young and old, especially the older ones who have continued to smoke pot for most of their lives, uh, these are the people that I tend to notice have more of a zeal when it comes to, I guess, I don't know if that's exactly the best way to put it, but they have more of a passion, I guess, uh, about trying to leave the world a better place than when they entered it. Uh, that's actually something I get from a very wise man who was a stoner, <laughs> who was very close to me, that, that, that phrase. I know he didn't originate it, but he was the one who shared it with me. Um, and I very much appreciate that, and that, that, that's my mindset too. I want to leave the world a better place than when I found it, or not when I found it, but than when I entered it. Um, and, and, and this is just the case. I was thinking the other day, when, or yesterday I guess, when I watched that video, uh, or it might not have been yesterday, I think it might have been two days ago. I'm getting my days mixed up a little bit here. Um, but when I, when I watched the video, I was thinking like, yeah, I, I see that too. Uh, and I noticed it as I was growing up. I just didn't realize I noticed it. Now that I actually reflect upon like uh, growing up through going through middle and high school, uh, not only and you know there, there were always people who were like passionate about church or passionate about some things, you know, family or sports or there are even people who would be passionate about certain causes. Um, but they were definitely an incredible minority in, in the passionate people that I knew. Um, and it was when. Uh, you know, so, so people are getting more passionate, and they will get more passionate, and they start to care more about the outside world, but very much, like I mentioned earlier, they just argue for things, or they, they don't actually strive to improve anything, they just do, they, they vote, and maybe talk on the internet, and that's about it. Um, but the people I notice, now that I think about it, who actually did get up and fucking do something, were the people I knew who, who, this, who started smoking pot. And that's even more the case when I got to college and I started hanging out with even more people who smoked pot and it was even more open then because you're in college, no longer in high school, so you're not trying to hide it from your parents uh, and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and you're just older, it's a freer time for a lot of people, people tend to let loose and college this is a well-known phenomenon. Um, and this, the, the funny thing is, now that I think about it now, you know, you, of course now that I fucking think about it now. Yay, redundancies. Um, but now that I think about it, most, I, it, a lot of the people I knew that were actually passionate and wanted to do something for real about stuff, that, that and it wasn't just uh, aside from the religious people. That, that's pretty much the only other source of, of it, but they're not doing it to try and just improve the world, they're doing it because that's what their religion tells them. The people I think that were always, the, by, and f by, by far, the majority of the people who were actually trying to, to help the world, I had ridiculously strong suspicions that they were stoners. Um, 
A lot of them, not all of them, and this certainly isn't the entire case. What I'm what I'm saying is that this seems to be a trend that I've noticed, and I, I, I agree with you in your picking out of the trend. But in your video uh, that you made today, filming the police and pot laws, uh, when, when you're talking about how uh, the prohibition laws against cannabis in particular are uh, detrimental to society and they harm us and they... they uh, sort of diminish our image and our standing with the rest of the world because of how backwards we really are on it, even though most of the world kind of uh, sees that. But I mean, things are changing, you know, in different places at different rates, obviously, and it would be better if we were to take more initiative and just, you know, get rid of it first and lead, you know, an international uh, anti-prohibition movement or something like that. You know, America could easily get itself on top of that and show the world how the fuck to do this stuff. And I, I'm sorry, I know you, in a couple of videos, you said things about cursing. I don't have that uh, same thing. So I, I, I do apologize, Lily. I will try and keep it a little less, though, uh, when I know the person I'm trying to talk to has some kind of aversion, whatever that aversion might be. Um, not that I'm trying to point out that that's a bad thing. It's just, you know, people are different. That's all that fucking is. So, but we, but you talk about how it's just, it doesn't do us any good to just arrest these people. And there, there, there's the obvious reason why it's just not good to just arrest massive amounts of people for stupid ass reasons like this. Um, but to make a connection between the trend that we've both noticed and, uh, arresting people is that when we're arresting the people that, that, that smoke pot or have pot in their possession, uh, or any form of cannabis, um, we're arresting those people with the zeal to fucking change the world for the better. We're, we're arresting the people who are actually trying to go out there and solve some of our biggest problems by actually participating in them. Uh, par participating in the solutions, rather, rather than just saying, oh, we should argue for this law. You know, the people are actually going out there and living their lives according to their principles. That's who we're, that's who, that's who we're arresting, really. Now, I know there's a lot of stoners out there, and that's certainly not the only kind of stoner. I'm sure that you know plenty of, uh, that you know people who smoke pot that treat pot like crap. I mean, well, I do, at least. I mean, I know people who treat video games like crack. I mean, I know people who treat, uh, I did know one person who treated his stamp collection like crack. He always had to get stamps. You know, that was his thing. I mean, it's way different, obviously. This is just a shitty metaphor. Uh, I mean, crack in the stereotypical metaphorical sense, by no means the literal sense. Um, colloquial sense, I guess, the slang sense, as crack is obviously a very serious thing and really shouldn't be joked about as often as it is. But, and I do apologize immediately for con con uh, contributing to that now that I thought about that. But anyway, so, I mean, this, this isn't like a real argument that we can really uh, offer, but what we can do is point it out that, that, that a lot of the people that we know personally are, that, that smoke pot, are people who are trying to change the world for the better. And, you know, the, the pot doesn't affect it. If anything, it helps, you know? Uh, but, you know, uh, and then and so when we arrest them, you know, that's who we're arresting. We're not just arresting degenerates of society. You know, people will think of the stereotypical stoner. The stoner is just gonna sit around his house, smoke pot, listen to Sublime, and the fuck the, you know, just, I don't know. They probably don't fuck it. I don't know. I've never been a traditional stoner. I, I've never been the stereotypical kind of uh, stoner. I've been lazy as shit, but never because of pop. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how it works. And most people uh, I've known tend to be of the change the world variety. But that's just because I can read people relatively well and not become friends with jackasses. Uh, but anyway, I just thought that was an interesting connection, you know, so it's not just those stereotypical stoners that people think of when they get arrested. It's, it's, it's not just them. It's fucking, <laughs> it's all the people. It, it's, it's a mixture of all kinds of people. Just because you smoke pot doesn't mean you're just immediately bad. And I think that's what this is saying. But this gives us a little bit of a punch to that statement, you know? Um... But just to share one thing real quick, Obama did say he inhaled, and he inhaled quite frequently. That was the point. Uh, and now the dude's president. 
So, 